Hi guys, um, the assignment called The Origins of Islam is going to start with a link. You're going to need to click on this to watch a video. The video is called Christianity 101. Once you watch that video, you're going to come back and have some questions to answer. Then there will be another video and some more questions to answer. I'm going to go over this first set of questions with you for the first video um, because the uh, you're going to have to answer those second questions or those, those same questions about the second video, and I want to make sure you're clear on how to do it. So, uh, pause this video right now. Go watch the video Christianity 101, and then come back to this video to um, see how I would answer the questions. All right, you're back to um, answer the questions now. The first question about the video is who is behind the information? So before we even look at what it said in the video, we have to look at who made the video to decide is it credible, do we trust it? Um, the video is made by National Geographic. So I'm going to put that in a complete sentence and write um, the video was made by National Geographic period. What qualifications or expertise does the source have on the topic? So remember, this is how much do they know about it? Um, National Geographic probably knows a lot about it. It's a magazine that has uh, that makes videos too, and they have reporters and researchers to uh, learn about the things that they um, uh, that they talk about. So. I'm going to say um, they have reporters and researchers um, to make educational videos. Uh, what's the purpose of the information? Well, I kind of hit on that in this a little bit. Um, it's, it's educational. They're trying to teach you. Um, so the purpose of this information is to um, inform you. Um, are there any obvious weaknesses to the source of information? So obvious weaknesses would be things like um, uh, things they say that are just obviously wrong or factually inaccurate that aren't facts or things that they say that are biased, that show that they have some sort of preference. Now, especially since this is about a religion, there's a lot of possibility for someone to be biased if they are part of that religion or if they are not part of that religion. Um, because if you are part of, if you're a Christian and you're talking about the history of Christianity, you will see that differently than someone who does not believe in Christianity, possibly. Um, I didn't think this was that this was biased. I thought it did a good job of um, not saying that uh, the Bible was necessarily true or um, not saying, oh, Jesus was definitely the Son of God. Those would have been biased answer or biased um, ideas. But instead, they said, according to the Bible, um, this is what happened. According to tradition, this is what happened. And that shows us that they're saying this is the this is the information that Christians believe, but it's not just assuming that that's true for everyone. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, are there any obvious weaknesses to the source of information? Um, no. The source of information uh, is careful to be unbiased by saying things like according to the Bible. Um, and then what do other sources say about this source? So we haven't answered a question like this before, uh, but it's an important one because um, we want to now just make sure that we can really trust National Geographic by seeing uh, what other people say about National Geographic. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to put in National Geographic and I'm going to see what comes up. 
Uh, the first site is National Geographic itself. Um, they're not going to be able to tell me if they're biased or not or if they're credible or not. Uh, so I'm going to keep looking. And actually, one of the first things that comes up is this question, is National Geographic credible? And I probably should have just Googled that to start with. That would have, that would have been even easier. Um, so if I click on this, um, I see it links to a website called Media Bias Fact Check. I've heard of this website before. Um, it, this website is known to be pretty unbiased, so um, it's good to see that they say that um, National Geographic is a pro-science source based uh, on proper sourcing and accurate factual coverage of science. So, um, so this other source is saying that National Geographic is credible. So that helps me trust them. Uh, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, um, media bias fact check says that National Geographic is credible. Now, um, for all of these answers, please go ahead and put them in your own words. Don't copy exactly what I have, but obviously I'm giving you the main ideas here. Um, so Media Bias Fact Check says that National Geographic is credible. Actually, I should add a little more information and say because they base their information on evidence. Um, so now I've answered the questions about where this video is coming from. Now there's questions that are just about the video itself. What's the main idea of the video and what are some supporting details? So the main idea would just be what's the video mostly saying? Um, make sure you actually put a full sentence. Um, it shouldn't be a topic. If you said the main idea of the video was Christianity, that's not a main idea. That's a topic. You'd have to say what it's saying about Christianity. What are some supporting details? Well, that would just be uh, some of the important stuff from the video about this main idea. And then the next one is, why do you predict we watched a video about Christianity to start our unit on Islam? Because Islam is a different religion than Christianity. Why start with a video about Christianity before learning about Islam? Uh, that's just a guess. That's just you taking a guess as why we would do that. Then, when you've answered all these questions in complete sentences, you're going to watch the next video um, and then answer those same questions but for this source. So you're going to have to do what I did of looking for information about the source, um, looking at the video to figure out who it's from. Um, you'll probably have to look up the source and to see what they say about themselves and to see what other people say about them. Finally, you're going to be writing a five to eight sentence paragraph about the information that's actually in the video. Um, you're going to need to have the main idea, again, a complete sentence saying what the video is about, and the supporting details, but here all put together in a paragraph. If you have any questions about this assignment, please check in with me or rewatch this video because I know that was a lot in a short period of time. Bye.